Hello, my sweet friends. Today we are going to start our new novel, Afternoon on the Amazon. Ooh, I'm so excited. There's our title page. And here is the prologue. Remember, that's the little beginning of the story that tells us what happened in the story before and gets us caught up to where we are now. Here's the picture. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the treehouse. They found it was filled with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was point to a picture and wish to go there. Jack and Annie visited the times of dinosaurs, knights, pyramids, pirates, and ninjas. Along the way, they discovered that the treehouse belongs to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian from the time of King Arthur. She travels through time and space, gathering books. In their last adventure, Night of the Ninjas, Jack and Annie learned that Morgan was under a spell. To free her, Jack and Annie have to find four special things. In old Japan, they found the first thing, a moonstone. Now, Jack and Annie are about to set off in search of the second thing in Afternoon on the Amazon. Chapter one, where's Peanut? Hurry, Jack, shouted Annie. Annie ran into the Frog Creek woods. Jack followed her. It's still there, Annie called. Jack caught up with Annie. She stood beside a tall oak tree. Jack looked up. The magic treehouse was shining in the afternoon sunlight. We're coming, Peanut, Annie called. She grabbed the rope ladder and started to go up. Jack followed. They climbed and climbed. Finally, they climbed up into the treehouse. Peanut, said Annie. Jack took off his backpack and he looked around. Sunlight slanted across a stack of books. Books about ninjas, pirates, mummies, knights, and dinosaurs. The letter M shimmered on the wooden floor. M for Morgan Le Fay. I don't think Peanut's here, said Jack. I wonder where she is, said Annie. How do you know Peanut's a she, said Jack. I just know it, said Annie. Oh, brother, said Jack. Annie laughed. Look, Jack! A small pink sock was moving across the floor. Yesterday, Annie had turned her sock into a bed for Peanut. Annie picked up the tiny lump. Squeak! What is Peanut? A brown and white mouse peeked out of the sock. She looked from Annie to Jack with her great big eyes. Jack laughed. Hi, Peanut, he said. Will you help us again today? Asked Annie. You see, in old Japan, Peanut had helped them when they had gotten lost. We have to find three more things for Morgan, said Annie. Jack pushed his glasses up into place. First, we have to find a clue that tells us where to begin, said Jack. Guess what, said Annie. What, said Jack. We don't have to look very far. And she pointed at a corner of the treehouse. And in the shadows was an open book. And that was the end of a very short chapter one. 
Chapter two, tomorrow we will find out what book is it? Where are they gonna go this time?